Hello guys, welcome back to my channel IT Paribar. Uh, so uh, today we will uh, learn in this video. Uh, if you are getting any error during uh, NS lookup uh, command run like DNS timeout, two second or default server unknown. So just I will uh, try to show you how you can resolve this issue. So let's start now. So this is my client machine and uh, let me take remote my DNS server. I have configured this DC on VM actually this this was shut down so it is starting and I will show you how you can resolve issue like like this uh, like if you if you are going to run NS lookup and if you are try to resolve or if you are trying to check your DNS server default DNS server name and if you are getting uh, timeout was two second default server unknown so we will try to resolve in this video. this is my domain server and it is configured on VM so it was getting a start so I'm going to log in this server and I will show you maybe it is not up yet it is taking some time till now we can see on client machine suppose you if you are trying to resolve DNS name or by NS lookup. Yes, so you can see here you were, we are getting DNS request timeout and timeout timeout was two second default server unknown and here is address ten dot ten dot ten dot that is a DNS or you can say domain server IP address. So let's go on DNS domain server. So guys, generally we are getting this uh, error uh, because uh, because of DNS server or DNS configuration is not properly configured. So let's see. Server manager is starting, and we will launch DNS console. it is getting ready server manager is getting ready you can see here yes so uh, i am going to run dns console So you can see here forward lookup is lookup zone is already uh, configured and uh, this is the machine 
through which we are trying to uh, run nslookup command so just we'll see you can see here there is no any reverse lookup zone created so what we'll do we'll uh, first create dns zone means uh, dns reverse lookup zone primary zone to all dns server running on domain controller on this domain itpariva.lan so basically this the my domain name is itpariva.lan you can see here sorry you can see here by running server manager local server so domain is itpariva.lan click on next IPv4 reverse lookup zone, IPv4 v6 lookup zone as we are not using IPv6 so just click on next and uh, network ID so just in, in, in my case my network ID is like 10.10.10.0 network or uh, if in case of you like it's a 192.168.1.0 one or two so just you have to enter one nine two one six eight one dot and just click on next so I am going to enter here my network ID that is ten dot ten dot ten just click on next you can select this allow both non secure and secure dynamic for your internal use next and click on finish so we have created a reverse lookup zone here but we will create pointer to so this is the desktop 2 through which machine we are trying to run nslookup command or we are trying to execute nslookup this one and this machine IP is 10.10.10 .10 so just will uh, click on ok ok so pointer record is created in reverse lookup zone for uh, desktop PC desktop 2 through which we are trying to execute uh, run nslookup command so now we will try so let's go on client machine sorry and go to cmd now we will run nslookup yes you can see now uh, it's working fine means nslookup command is executing properly and now the default server name is ad.itpariva.lan and address is 10.10.2 10. sorry 10.10.10 .10 .10 .10. So in this way uh, you can resolve this DNS timeout or uh, default unknown server error for NS lookup. Guys uh, I hope this video is really helpful for you and uh, uh, I hope uh, you will subscribe my channel so that you can get uh, new upcoming videos in your YouTube inbox directly. So uh, please request you to please subscribe my channel and uh, click on bell button and uh, do not forget to uh, like and share with your friends thank you bye bye